Howdy everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can seal a brand new tank that you want to put on a motorized bicycle as well you can do this on a, uh, an existing tank uh, if you got a tank that you want to keep that has a leak in it you want to repair it uh, using a two-part epoxy sealer uh, the epoxy sealer costs about forty dollars or so and the like it is expensive but it's a very good effective seal so let's get going I like Caswell it's a two-part epoxy Check the link down below. I'll show you where you can get a good price on it. Here, um, the uh, the kit says it'll seal up to two five-gallon tanks. This is a two-gallon tank here. What I'm going to do is mix up about one-third of it. You want to be sure and measure it properly. You want to make sure that it's not cold outside, uh, that your epoxy sealer has not been stored in a, in a cool environment. You want it 70 degrees and above. I've measured the amount that I need by putting a dent in the side of the can. Okay, you use two parts of the part A to one part of the part B. What I did is I measured my can. I'm using one third of a can. The directions say only use uh, a half a can at a time or mix the entire bit. I'm cheap. I'm going to get three tanks out of this here. We, I don't need a lot for this tank here. I basically only need to seal up the bottom where it's uh, brazed up and then along the, uh, the tunnel here in the front, along the bottom, and the tunnel in the back. Um, you want to make sure that your tank is clean on the inside, that you don't have any oil residue in it, so if it's a used tank uh, that you had a, a premix in, you really want to take some uh, time and trouble to clean it out real good. I might even recommend uh, dumping all of the, the, the oil and the gas and oil premix out of it. Hitting it with some detergent and warm water. Hit it with detergent and warm water about three or four times. Shake it really good. If it's an old tank with a lot of rust in it, uh, you want to put some, uh, a, some handful of drywall screws in it and close it up and shake it up real good. Then after you uh, get the, rinse it out with the water and detergent, you want to rinse it with water again about two or three times. You don't want any traces of the detergent inside of it, nor do you want any water. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take some denatured alcohol and pour denatured alcohol in there. Oh, about maybe a cup, to a ha half a cup to a cup. Thereabouts, shake it really good, dump it out, do that about three times. Then put some acetone in there. Shake it up with the acetone, dump your acetone, let it dry, make sure it's good and dry inside. A little bit of acetone is not going to harm the epoxy. You can actually thin it a little bit with acetone if you need to, but uh, let's not go there. That, that might uh, cause you some problems. So I've been mixing my epoxy here. They say mix it for a good two minutes. Here, and if you mix it too long and you let it wait too long, they say you're going to have a hard time uh, getting it to seal properly because it'll start uh, it'll it'll start uh, hardening before it's ready. I'm not. I just did some of this yesterday. I've got you got five ten minutes of working time before you really have to pour it. But hey, get it in there in like three or four minutes. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm taking some electrical tape. And I'm going around where the cap is. I don't want to get any epoxy there. The petcock bung of this one came with a plastic plug here. And what I'm going to do is put a little bit of oil on it, not much. That way I won't get any epoxy here in my threads. I want to make sure that I'm not going to get any oil in the tank. But what I am doing is getting some oil on the plug and inside the plug. That way the epoxy is not going to seal on it. Screw that into the, uh, the petcock. 
Okay, this epoxy is well mixed. And it's about as easy as putting socks on a rooster. Pour all of the uh, Caswell epoxy mix into the gas tank. And what we want to do is clean up our mess here. Okay, so the gas tank was welded up here all along the edges here, here at the tunnel, and here at the tunnel in the back. So let's go ahead and just hold the tank up here. And all the epoxy is now going to the tunnel here in the back. Then what I'm going to do is just slowly rotate it and make where this seam is here, the lowest point for the epoxy to seal on. And for the next 20 minutes, this is all I'm going to be doing, is just rotating it around, getting the epoxy to go along every bit, every inch of the seam where it was welded together. Now as well, what you can do is leave a little bit of epoxy in your, your mixing container. Um, this here looks kind of dirty on the outside. I used this yesterday to mix the same product up with, so there's no oil or grease in it. But leave some epoxy in there. That way you can tell when your epoxy is about ready to sit up. So it, it's going to take a while, at least a good 20 minutes. Then what you're going to do is just rotate, 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 rotate. Let it sit there towards the end. You can uh, get you a flashlight, look inside. When you see that your, uh, your epoxy is getting really, really thick and it's really not spreading anymore, let it sit for a good 24, 30 hours. Gas it and go. I am going to rotate it once and try to get a little bit here around the neck. Here where the, uh, the, the filler is brazed into the, uh, the top of the tank but I, I want to be very careful not to get it inside of the uh, the threads of the uh, of the opening and as well what I can do is I'm going to get my finger with a little bit of oil on it and rub it. I'm not going to get any oil inside of it other than just what's on my finger. I'm very careful not to that there's not going to be any drips of oil in there. And that way all the important areas here are sealed up, are, are coated with the oil, and I'm not going to have any epoxy sticking. After a little while, you're going to feel the tank starting to get warm, very warm. That's your cue to know that it's working and it's starting to set. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe. A lot more to come. Thanks for watching.